Hello, hello. Not put it like that. Hi, hi, hi. How's everybody doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> no love a plan. Hey, girl. How's mommy world? <laughs> Thanks for inviting your followers. Oh, you can see all my stuff here. I got a little pile here of stuff. Oh, I see what happened. My poor attempt at making a rosette. Me and rosettes do not get along. Up, oh, trying to feed Nathan. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't do so good with the rosettes. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. I do good with everything else. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Debbie to get here because she likes for me to... Hey, Rainy! She likes for me to sing her song that I made for her. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Cinders! Hey! Hi, hi, hi. How you guys doing today? There she is! Debbie! Hey! All right, everybody. Hello and welcome, um, Shirlene, we're Shirl's Crafty World and Shirl's World 14. Let's get the Perry Potter started. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> all right, here we go. Little Debbie's crew, we all welcome you on Saturdays. We are block and play. Little Debbie's crew, we all welcome you. Artists and crafters, it doesn't matter. We welcome you. Yay! <laughs> she loves that song. That's her song. And again, I'm here today by the grace of Little Deb's created crew. And up next is Miss Miko for show. <laughs> All right. So, on the agenda today. We are going to make some fall tags, but I want to share some happy mail with you because I will be using some of this happy mail to make my tags. Okay. All right. So the first thing I got, and I purchased these at Scrapbooking With Me Boutique on Facebook. Again, that's Scrapbooking With Me Boutique. Annette! Hey, girlfriend! <laughs> All right. It's a positive power party today. Okay, so I purchased this at Scrapbooking With Me Boutique, and this is the Julie Nutting November December Ephemera. And what I like about it is it has, um, you can see it has fall stuff, and it has fall and Christmas ephemera, and uh, it's really nice. <laughs> Let's get the period party started. I am a Perry sister. So, um... I'll be using some of these on my tags. So I bought two of them. The other one's already open, so I'll move this one out the way. And then she also had November, December pad of paper that went with it. It's an A4. There's 30 sheets, and it's double-sided. Okay, go share the link. So I'm... Who the... <laughs> Always... Who is ringing my doorbell? I think it's the mailman. I can't jump on my security system while I got y'all on the phone, so. I think it's the mailman. It's double-sided. You can see, I think you get four sheets. Yes, yeah, the mailman. I got happy mail sitting outside. Yay, I'll go get it after we're done here. So I wanted to show y'all some of the papers. There's Christmas and fall paper in here, so that's what I like about this. I guess she goes by the months. Oh my God, this is so pretty you guys I wish I had gotten this before I started my um, pocket letter I would have used this instead it's so pretty this one's nice too and I like the other side of that with the looks like apple cores that they turned into flowers hey SJ slid in here hey SJ look at this one with all the acorns that one's nice too I missed that one earlier okay 
So that's the pad of paper. Now let me show you the papers that I picked out. We're gonna do the tags with um, some of this, which is from a 12 by 12. Happy art block, yes, yes. I'm also gonna do a tag using this side and using this side. But now after seeing the acorns, I think I wanna use some of the acorn one. I don't want it, cause that's a little brighter. I don't want anything too dark. So I think I'm gonna take one of these acorn pages out. That's the joy of having uh, options, right? A woman's prerogative to change her mind. <laughs> okay, so yes, I like the eight cords. I think I'm gonna use that one too. All right, so let me move this out the way. Okay, so I have this tag here. It came from, let me pull this out and show you in case it's somebody that don't know what tags are. This is a number eight size tag. It measures six and a quarter by three and an eighth. And there's 20 tags in here. Cheryl's a stall yet. Yeah. yeah, in a little bit. Give me some time to put some stuff in there. Fingers crossed we grand this weekend or we do soft opening this weekend. I got a lot going on today. I'm also, after I'm done here, um, I am going to be getting ready to do an Instagram de-stash sale. So that will be late tonight probably because I have 10 more totes to go through and that's going to take me a little bit. So plus I got to rest my back in between. Okay, so um I don't I'm going to cut on the line. So I'm going to put my tag on here and draw it out and cut it. So I'm not using this particular tag. Now you could, but because I want it out of this particular paper, I'm just gonna, so, and I'm gonna use my long handed dandy. Now that I'm organized on my desk somewhat, it's so easy to just reach and get what I need. We'll get our tags cut out, we'll get our holes punched, and then we'll decorate. So. Yes, I used the one tag as a template, if that's what you were asking. I just barely saw that. <laughs> also, you guys that broadcast, I am trying to find a mount that will hold a eight inch tablet okay because instead of using my phone i want to use my tablet to do overhead recording and the archon thing only uses your phone he said i asked him why you don't have one for a tablet he said because it would tip over so i i didn't think about that but you know me that's what bean bags and all that kind of stuff is for Okay, so we got one cut out so far. And I'm only gonna make one, and I'm actually gonna be using, hello, I'm gonna be using um, this side, because I really like this side. Okay, so the next one is this one here. Yeah, yeah, they were saying that it was gonna be too heavy, but it's just a tiny little eight inch um, Samsung tablet. It's not nothing big, you know, but I, I want to use that for my broadcasting because my phone is just getting inundated with everything. Use a mic for, oh, they have one for an iPad mini that's that'll do overhead because I want it to be overhead. Trying to tilt a, a uh, tablet doesn't work. Amazon, oh, don't say that because I'm a primer. Hey, girl, Bree, what's up, girl? I was thinking about you last night because I had a taste for some of them sex bars, girl. I know they sweet as all get out and I probably put on 10 pounds, but I, I was wanting some. It's the same one Becky uses. Okay, I haven't seen Becky's. Becky who? Who's Becky? Do I know Becky? Did you say sex bars? Yes, Miko. Miss Bree put her foot off in those sex bars. 
Becky Amana Art. Okay, I'll check her out. Shirlene is prime expensive for the membership. I pay $99 a year. That's my store ever since 2005. Yes, I pay $99 a year for my membership. And I wear it. We wear it out. Girl, I buy groceries from Amazon. I get, um, what else do I get? I get all kinds of stuff. Art stuff, craft stuff, planner stuff. I bought planners from them. Um, I haven't used the music or the movies yet because we have Netflix and I just listen to Pandora. So, yours is $9.99. You paying more than me then because I'm paying a flat $99. I do it month by month because can't afford the... Okay. Do what works for you most definitely. Do what works for you. It's easier for me to just give it to them all at one time and I ain't got to worry about it the rest of the year. <clears throat> Almost forgot my hole. Amazon movies are free. Yeah, if you have the Prime. But like I said, we use Netflix, so I don't I don't watch much movies. If you wanna find me, you know where I spend a lot of my time. I'm on YouTube getting educated, learning new processes, new crafty ideas. That's where I, I spend all my time on YouTube, usually till about two in the morning. All these noises on my phone. I know I cut off everything, but you can only do so much. Oh, I think that was, um, let me know. Oh, I forgot to, I may have forgot to turn off my notifications. So if other people that I follow come on, it'll tell me. What's my Twitter? Oh, that's my Twitter. Oh, because you guys are adding me. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to make Twitter quiet. I don't I don't do a whole lot with Twitter girl, can you tell? <laughs> Shirlene don't know her Twitter. I go on there, I go on Twitter when things are um trending or to see what the president is yakking about. But that's about it. Or if something's going on. Although I was on Twitter last night. I don't know what is flying in here. Might be a fruit fly. I might have to get that. Um my heart, my heart has been troubled about that young girl in uh, Chicago that got found, uh, passed away in the refrigerator. I don't know if God wants me to pray for her family or what, but it's, she's been on my heart a lot. So, what did I miss that Miko said? What did Miko say? Yeah, her name was Kanika Jenkins, and apparently she went to a party with some friends, got a little intoxicated, or maybe even was using drugs, they don't know yet, and she ended up dead in the freezer of the hotel that they didn't use anymore. So, there's a whole lot of controversy going on about it. Snuck in the room again. <laughs> Jayana. <laughs> didn't hear it I can't watch news yeah it ain't nothing positive girl I tell you between them yelling that it's fake news and between folks acting the fool yeah that is bad there's a whole lot of stuff going on. okay I can't read the screen and cut at the same time so that is awful cover her family yes that's what I believe the Lord wants me to do is cover her family with prayer I never watched yeah it is too hurtful she was only 19 years old, y'all. And she went out to celebrate because she got a new job that she was supposed to start last Monday. And Sunday they found her body. And so, of course, everybody that was at the party is like, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. I don't know what's going on. So, somebody knows something. The police just have to do an investigation. You know, and I have two children. My, my kids are grown. They're 26 and 27 years old. But when they were that age, because you know, when you're 19, you think you're grown. I'm 19 now, I'm past 18, you can't tell me nothing, yada, yada. But you really got to know who your real friends are, who have your back. Supposedly, they think her best friend had something to do with it um, because she, you know, didn't look out for her. You know how it is when girls go out together. And um, if you guys don't know, what this is this is called a crocodile I don't know how to use the front part yet where you set eyelets and stuff because I don't really use that but um, 
you do need to know your friends. Yes, we are praying for justice for her family. So I will be using this. It also makes holes. On, the, on one end is a big hole. And on the other end makes a small hole. And because Shirlene is old, I have it marked S and, and B. So I know which one's the big hole and which one's the small hole. Yeah, boy, this thing. I have the homicidal one too, the really big one. But this thing, even my husband used this thing sometimes. All right, so I'm getting ready to make my holes. <clears throat> and then we can start decorating. Oh, looks like I've been using it and didn't clean it out. And I'm learning to be good. Put things up when I'm not using them. I've been working on a project, so I was using... Everything's going off. Sorry, you guys. This is why I want to start um, broadcasting with my tablet, but I need I need some kind of way to do it. I'm learning. Okay. Okay. So we got our hole. Turn the volume down on what? I turned it down on my um tablet where I'm watching you from. Thank you, Miko. You are such a good friend. Now, Miko, I do call friend. She is a very sweet person. My little uh, pieces keep getting stuck in here. And that's probably because I was cutting something that had adhesive so some of the sticky is probably still on my tool but I don't know if you guys can see this you can see through the hole so that you can line it up just right okay so that hole is done all right so that was the hard work Now's the fun to decorate. Yeah. <laughs> okay, which one I want to... I think I want to do this one first. So I'm going to sit these right here. I'm going to take a drink. My mouth is getting parched. Q-tips to clean it. Um. Yeah, but well, what? Maybe some alcohol you think that will cut some of that adhesive? this the one I want to use this on let's see I am using these bag tags in a bag <clears throat> tag in a bag that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby but I'm only using one worth a try yeah it couldn't hurt nothing I'm trying to think which one of these I want to use this on seem like oh wait one of these is supposed to be yeah one of these is supposed to be this side I'm like, oh, where all this brown come from? Okay. So I think I'm going to use it on this one. Okay. So we're going to glue this on here. I'm going to take the tag out for now. And I will be stamping that. And I want to put this on here like so. Okay. And I have here which you can probably see a little pile of stuff that I um, picked up that I'm probably going to use. I think this one. Oh, I think that's why I was going to use this one on here because of the teals. The teals could come in. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. So, yeah, I have my little pile of stuff here that I'm working with. And these are pieces out of that kit that I showed you. This is the one I've already opened. The Julie Nutting Ephemera. So what I do is I kind of get a, a rough layout. 
Who sent a link for what? <clears throat> for the, um, a link for the, the, um, mount? Is that what you guys are talking? I'm trying to keep up with you guys. All right, let me just take care of business here. I'm the kind of person for the mount. Okay, thank you. I use score tape, which is double stick tape, but you could use anything. I just work with double stick tape. I, I buy so much of this stuff, it's not even funny. I should take my shelf out and show you. Side trip. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Let's see. Oh, here we go. This shelf is heavy, dang. You can see, I, I have stock in this stuff. I have, right now I have one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rolls. And I use this stuff almost exclusively. And I'm going to take one out because this one I'm using is kind of low. And then this is kind of my glue drawer. I have, um, I don't know if you guys watch HSN. Totally Tiffany, who does the scrap rack. She had a rack, like, and it has three shelves. And you can put all kind of stuff in there and I have my tools and stuff up front it's really cute it's a real short though it only um it's only about two feet tall hold on let me get this back in the groove here all right <clears throat> yes believably yes I bought two of them girlfriend how are you by the way you good over there in Jacksonville You know, the news make it sound like y'all five feet underwater. And to be honest with you, I already told Bob we getting ready because Jose might come this way. I don't trust Jose. <laughs> I don't trust none of them storms. All right. So I'm getting ready to glue this bag down. Girl, I can't keep up with you. <laughs> Do that while you young. So when you get older, you ain't got to traipse all over the world. Your area is untouched. Oh, praise God. I didn't realize how many people I knew in Florida until that storm. Me and Bob was like, oh my gosh, you so-and-so, what? So-and-so's in Florida? We know so many people in Florida, and I, and it's so sad because we almost moved down there because um, the other plant for Sikorsky is in West Palm, and we were looking to move to Jupiter, but we decided to go to Arizona instead when he retires, so. Give me two seconds here. I'm just trying to get this down. Okay. All right, so we have our bag down and our tag that comes with the bag will go in there. I don't know if I wanna keep just a plain white tag. This bag only has so much room. So I think I'm gonna use some of this paper. Is this the one we cut already? Let me get one that we already cut because I'm not trying to waste. We already Actually, I have. Wait, you guys, I have a lot of stuff here, so give me just a second to go through it. Here it is. All these papers. I I figured I have my papers out so I could get them easily, but instead I'm like piling them on top of each other. Okay. So, let's see. I was looking at this one here with the flower. I think that would be cute to have the flower in the bottom of that. And then it has like lines already. Let me show you. So it has like lines already. So if they wanted to like journal on it, they could. So I think I'm going to use that. So. I like to use the big scissors when I gotta cut out something long so.
Okay. You love the fox? I know. You know what? I have, I got a fox, um, die from Hobby Lobby. I haven't even used it yet. I'll be excited though to use it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw on the back because I don't want to not see. I don't want to draw on the front. And actually this I probably don't need to draw. What I'm going to do is I got my handy dandy binder clip. Because there's white on the back, I'm just going to use the binder clip. Anna Joy, hey, how are you? Let me line this up real straight here. We're falling foxes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. They're cute. And if you see me using my left hand kind of gingerly, it's because it's still recovering from a nerve stab from of a blood draw back on July 24th. I still don't have 100% use of my arm. And I can feel it when it starts to like get little fuzzies, like electricity is getting ready to shock me. Time coming. There you go. All right. Change going time. I don't think I'm gonna need this for anything, so that will get okay. So let me clean up here because it's kind of hard to work when you got 50 million things in your way. Okay, so now let's decorate. I think this was gonna go on here, like so. I don't know if I want to do it that way. No. And then I have the word fall here. So I can put that on there. But the thing is, this has got some turquoise on it too. So let's see. I'm trying to lay it out here. Oh, that's cute. Okay. So let's put the fall on the tag first. So I had another pack of tags that I was working with. And um, I got those from Amazon, my second home. The pumpkins are cute. Yeah, I thought so too, to put down there. Just kind of bring the fall in because this has more like a, looks like apples that were made into flowers. Sorry, you guys. I kind of leaned back for a second to give my back a break. There you go. Okay. So then we're going to... I think I'm going to put this on like this and then put the pumpkins under it. And then it's going to need something on the side here. So I got my bag of goodies here. Mm. Oh, I like this owl too. Let's see. And I got these glitter. I'm going to save that for the fancy the fancy one. Let's see. I think I'll just use some of this. Let's see what we got in here. We got some leaves. Maybe a couple of leaves down there would be good. There's not enough leaves. Yes, we can see you, Anna Joy. We can see you, girlfriend. You are not lost in Periscope Jail. This here is, um, I don't know if they call them scatters or confetti, but you can buy this stuff. It's gorgeous, too. Let me see. You can buy this stuff at, uh, I got mine at Hobby Lobby. And I think it was like $2 for the whole bag. But I don't know how many millions of pieces are in there. And um, these are 
photo containers by Iris. You can get these at Michael's. And I love these things for housing your um, embellishments. They're perfect for that. And I actually, I bought a box of them from Amazon, but I need to buy some more. I know this week, Michael's has 60% off their storage. And you can get one that has 16 of these um, in it for $15.99. So, just some storage ideas for you. Okay, so let's get this on here. We got two more to do. Hiring. Oh, sorry, you guys. I tend to lean, <laughs> lean back, lean back. Sorry about that. So, like Charlene, they can't see you leaning back back there. I'm like, oh yeah, huh. That's what I like about score tape too. It's so easy. You just put it on there and rip it off. And but you gotta know what you're doing with this because once it's down, it's down. It's not like um um wet glue where you get a little wiggle time or wiggle room. Love you too, lady. Did you ever get your? You did get them. I think you said you told me. Cause I I, I be old sometimes. Between talking to all my friends on Marco. And then YouTube and Facebook Messenger and all, uh, I just, my brain just be fried trying to keep up with everything. I know I got a pair back, but I also enjoy all the fellowship, so. <clears throat> all right. So I'm going to put the pumpkins and then I'm going to put two leaves on either side of the pumpkin here. And maybe an acorn too. Let's see. Oh, I like that. Do I want an orange one? I think I want an orange one instead of the gold. I have an orange one here. This one I got from a swap. She happened to send me some. Which is so funny because I'll be sending her some in her swap bag. A different kind though. Yeah, I like the orange because, you know, it brings out the pumpkin. Get the orange in the pumpkin. You guys. So, I'm going to see if y'all can see that. What y'all think? How y'all think that looks? Think that looks good like that? I like it. Stuff's getting scattered all over the place. Hello, hello, Zeddy. Zeddy, like Zeddy Keeks, is it? All right. And I think I'm going to pop those up. I probably should pop up the pump wings too, but I don't want to do too much... Um, dimension. So I will pop up the leaves. Okay. So this is foam tape. Woo! And I usually buy a big roll of it if I can. I know you can buy like a really fat roll. I haven't done that yet. My shirt keeps rolling up. which it shouldn't be because it's big. So I'm just going to cut a little piece off here. And then I'm going to cut it in half. Whoops. And I'll put it on the leaf. Down deep in my soul 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 Okay, look how pretty you guys look how pretty <laughs> Okay, so now we need a caption across the top and I have some captions here that um I got out of a where did I get it from? Out of a um, paper pad that I got from Michaels. I don't like that one. Totally. Nope. I think the harvest is nice. Yes. Yes. I like the harvest. You guys like the harvest? And it's got foil. I don't even got to do nothing to it. I thought maybe I need to cut it out. 
Maybe I will just to give it some fancy. I know it fits up there perfect. It look it fits right in. And I might put some more leaves on the side here. Maybe up the side. <clears throat> Maybe some of the long ones. A couple of the long ones. Down deep in my soul. Down deep in my soul. Let's see. Maybe a red one. Down deep in my soul. I don't want to block the opening of the bag. Oh, yes. 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 That is cute. Okay. Me likes. We'll probably get two of these done tonight. Okay. So, if you don't have or if you can't afford a pack of tags and you have one tag, you can do that and just make copies like you saw me. Okay. See, we've been through this before, haven't we? Well, see, I was ready for them. I got the fob. <laughs> Not gonna do this to me this time. Lesson learned from last time. I, Lainey, honey girl, let me tell you. Everything don't go wrong until I push play for Periscope. You see the doorbell rang, the mailman came and left the package. And now the stupid alarm is, it. the battery's low. So we gotta put a new battery in it. So it goes off. And I mean, sometimes it goes off like 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, what the? But, yeah. Welcome to life. <laughs> so. And you guys that have been praying for my son, he's doing so much better. The only thing is, is I'm pissed off that the newspaper reported something that wasn't true because his toxicology came back and proved that it wasn't what they said um, but they they saying that they were covered because they said alleged you know what I don't care if you said alleged you already put the thought in people's minds to the point that I was getting phone calls and messages from people that saw it oh yeah he's doing better the thing is, is now they got to go after the person that tried to take his life. Because I don't know anybody that gets up one morning and goes, I'm going to inject myself with Clorox. So, I don't know who he's running with, but he definitely, you know, I had to pray. Because when I hear somebody try to take my child's life, I'm ready to go into action. Charlene is ready to go. I'm from New York. Um... You know, we kick butt and take names later. That We don't play that. You don't mess with our children. So, but, um, yeah. I think I'm going to put a couple of leaves up here, too. He'll be okay. Um, but God is able. God spared him. I thank God for sparing his life because one person didn't survive. But my son did. He coded twice, but they got him back both times. And I told him, I said, that's because you got a praying mother. So, hopefully he learned his lesson. There's some evil people in this world. And you got to know who your friends are. Be careful who you call your friends. This world has just kind of gone crazy in a handbasket. But you know what? It's all in the Bible. Read Revelations. It's all in there. Rumors of wars. Men being lovers of themselves. I mean, you can't say boo these days and somebody's offended. You say the sky is blue. They're offended because you said it's blue and not baby blue. Or sometimes white. Or whatever. <laughs> I, ain't got time. I ain't got time to get into semantics. 
Is this one long? So this is some string that came um, with the tags, but I thought they were at least individually cut. I guess not. So looks like they just gave you one long string. Oh, okay. Surely you're jumping around here. Make sure you do one thing before you start the next one. <clears throat> And if you don't have string like this, you can use Baker's twine. That's what they call it. Might have made it a little long, but that's okay. Okay, so now I think these I'll put, I'll pump up like the other ones. Thank you, Miss Laney. I'm trying. Hello, Bible News. Oh, Stacy! Hey, girl! How are you? Thanks for coming by. I hope you're having a good day. Right, you guys. I think I'm gonna call this one done. There she is in all her glory. You play pickleball? Oh, we know you happy now. You play pickleball. <laughs> That's the back, and I might put this little something here that says created by Charlene. So we got one tag done. My time, like, oh, we got 20 minutes. We got plenty of time. So the next one, I want to use this girl that was in there. So, um, let's see. I like the dream. room right here no that's too much we could put a big leaf there oh I like that and then have other leaves around we could put some leaves down here let's see and I, oh we can put acorn I got acorns I got acorns or we can, since it's brown, I also have this brown glitter. Ooh. Oh, you guys like that? With that brown glitter leaf like there? Or do we want to do a different color? Ooh, it might be nicer with the orange because she's got, she's got a little burnt orange in her hat right here in her purse I don't know which one I like which one I like and plus the glitter will be good with the um do we do both of them no I think that'll be too much let me play with this for a second <clears throat> gonna be my waters and stuff okay you like the orange? Yeah, I was thinking that too. Because it brings in some of the colors off it and chops up some of that brown. Okay. I don't know if this one's going to have a fall tag on it. Maybe just put that fall up here and the dream big. And then just, I got, I can do acorns and I can do leaves. And I can do pumpkins. Mm. 
Okay, so here's an acorn. See? So we can do acorns in the corner. And then we can do leaves and stuff at our feet. I won't use these. These are really big leaves. Yeah, these are ugly. Ugly, ugly. But I might do a pumpkin. Do I want to do a pumpkin? Oh, that's cute. I know you can't see her feet, but that's okay. I like that. I can always move it up some. Yes. Boom. There it is. We have a plan, my dear. Just got to cut this down some. Okay. We're going to make this straight because this is not straight. love it you guys that's why I like getting opinions on stuff this is not for me you know what I realized that I create so much stuff but I don't keep none of it I really don't I don't I don't just wake up one day and create something for Shirlene and I need to I need to make me a sign for my business for Cheryl's crafty world Matter of fact, if that was Amazon, I ordered some business cards or some thank you cards at least. I gotta order me some business cards. Definitely starting a business on a shoestring here, but that's okay. Gotta start somewhere. Hello, Southern. All right, ladies. This in here. There he is. Dream big. Okay. So let me see how high up I need to put her. If her hat goes over the thing a little bit, I think that's okay. should pop pump her up too I might yeah Okay, so sometimes you got to go in there and fussy cut because I need to something. I didn't hear. Oh, I missed that. I'm sorry. this tape but it's okay so what I'm doing is the tape the foam tape was a little wider than my girl here mm -hmm. I stuff. honey ah! why I'm de well that's why I'm de stashing because I have way after, but I used to host crops, go to retreats and all kind of stuff. And then, um, oh boy, this thing's acting up. And then, um, 
cancer came and shut all of that down. So now all of this has backed up over the years because I'm not using it like I was. So. Hello. I think I'm put this right down here. And then we got an acorn. And I might even squeeze a... I want to squeeze a leaf in there somewhere. Maybe in between the acorn. Okay. So these are adhesive... I'm going to something. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read the phone because this thing gets so far behind. Nana J90, welcome. I didn't it hasn't come up on here yet. I have five thousand dollars in scrapbook stuff. I have close to ten. But like I said, I used to have a business, so that's why. I have a lot of uh, machines and stuff. I went to Scrapbook Expos a couple years in a row, and I dropped $300 at Scrapbook Expo with no problem. <laughs> Lainey, if you was on a Marco, you would have heard um, one day, one some of the girls asked if you had to put a value on your stuff, and I said $10,000, and they had a heart attack. <laughs> but, you know... It's easy to explain because, I mean, when you're spending $300 on a silhouette and $200 on a, uh, uh, you know, all kind of machineries, and then I have my kettle bug and my caliber, and I have the Fisker Fuse, and yeah, I have a lot. It's okay, though. I'm going to share. I was going through my tubs last night, you guys. I went through five tubs of stuff of stamps five five tubs of stamps I need to get organized because I'm noticing that I'm double purchasing and so that says I have too much you got one machine which machine you got I have a silhouette uh, Cricut imagine those are the machines because I sold the other ones oh wow cool If you go to yard sales and just yes, that's true. Right now I'm de-stashing more than I am buying. I promised Mr. Bob that I would give him his house back. <laughs> so he's been very patient with me. But he knows how much I love it, so. You might get me into scrapbook again. <laughs> you know, I like to do altering. I'm an alterer. But I do a lot of swapping. I am a swap. I do a lot of swapping. And people are like, why do you do so much swapping? But swapping, not only does it challenge me, but it also um, helps me stay, you know, keep the juices flowing. So, otherwise I would just sit here and mold. Being a housewife. So, this has a little dot on the back of it. I don't even know what the time is. Oh, gosh, I got eight minutes. Let's get this finished. I'm going to take this off because I really want to um, pop this up like the rest of them. So, so we're going to put a couple pieces of, well, maybe one piece. So now I'm just going to fussy cut so you don't see it. I probably should have went up a little higher, but that's okay. That's okay. I've been doing this for a long time, so you know all the tricks. I got enough paper to have one heck of a barn to start swapping again in November. Oh, cool. Believe it, I would do a swap with you. Actually, November, yeah, I would do a swap with you, but November and December, actually, October 1st, I am going to be headstrong on working on Cheryl's Crafty World and getting all my Christmas stuff in the store. So, you're going to be dangles and all kinds of stuff flying all over the place. Ooh, Lord, that is pretty. I like it. 
You guys tell me what you think. She come out nice. I like it. I might put just a few more leaves on there or maybe across the top. Oh, just rest on my back for a second. Did I miss someone? Sorry if I missed you. Welcome, welcome. Hey, the Joyster, how are you? I'm sorry if I missed anyone. It's just kind of hard to watch the screen. My son is doing better. My, I was just telling them earlier that I was upset that the newspaper reported the wrong thing about him, but they said because they put alleged on there, they're covered. And it wasn't even what they said. You just don't go around spreading rumors about people like that. But he's doing good. Thank you for asking. He just needs to get some better friends and stop hanging out with people that try to take your life. Yeah, the newspaper reported him as an overdose and that was not the case. Somebody poisoned him with Clorox and tried to kill him. So, But he got a praying mama. One of the people they caught already, but the other ones are still out there. So he's been laying low. One good thing from this whole ordeal is him and his wife have reconciled because they were having some problems. And they only been married a little over a year, so I remember my first year being married to Mr. Bob. That's the adjustment year, and we were an instant family. Oh my God! In front of a Mack truck? Wow. Lay low. Yes, that's what he was doing. Spending, he told me, I've just been spending time with my wife and my baby. I ain't even been bothered with nobody. I think he realized how fragile life is. You know, we all got to walk our path. I know cancer did that for me. Cancer taught me that life is, you know, is precious and not to waste it. So, um... It is 357, so I don't dare try another uh, tag on screen with you guys because Miss Miko is going to be up in three minutes. But this is what we did today. We did a good job. They came out really nice. We cut our tags. We used this one as a template. And we cut our tags from some paper that I have from a paper pad I got. Let me show you. This one here, Julie Nutting. What? Bladder cancer? Oh, I'm praying for you. I have interstitial cystitis, which is a bladder condition. And uh, it keeps me running to the bar. I, I, and I ought to have stock and poise, I tell you. Thank you. They came out really nice. I'll keep you in prayer about that any kind of cancer is I had thyroid cancer but mine was stage three so we had to move quickly and they said it takes six years five to six years for it to get that bad because it's a slow growing cancer so all those years I was struggling and I was depressed and going through CT scans okay well on Instagram I'm Cheryl's place if you want to follow me if you need someone to talk to or you know vent because it's it's scary it's scary going in blood in the urine and you know what there was blood in my urine recently and uh 
but they said I had a nasty UTI so they put me on a really strong antibiotic and I've been okay but I have to watch too because I've had cancer so it could show up again in my body at any time yeah I'm not with thyroid cancer you're not considered cancer free until you've gone 10 years without an incident so it's it's easily treated but it's highly reoccurring you had five UTI this is only like my third in my whole life I don't get UTIs but interstitial cystitis you know my bladder is lining the lining in my bladder is jacked up so and the spinal stenosis was a parting gift from the radiation treatment for the cancer so but stay strong I know me I mourned because you mourn your life bef that you had before cancer because for me life was dramatically different after cancer but I'm still here and God is still blessing me both when you was pregnant I had oh that that's right I did have one when I was pregnant this all he has two urine tests how can he say cancer that's true I had a biopsy that's what proved it I had to have a biopsy yeah girl you can't just do a pee test and be like yeah you got cancer Get, make sure that they doing extra pathology and stuff like that before they start calling out the C word. That's just not, yeah. They need to be doing more with your P and doing blood work and stuff like that. Or or taking some, uh, they, they can do a catheter where they go straight to the bladder and take what they need from you. You don't even have to pee it out. They do. They're going to do a camera and buy it. Yes. So don't you even claim it. We're not even going to claim it for you. We're going we're gonna to thank God that your biopsy is going to come back clean. And doctor's going to say, oh, I thought, but no, it turns out that's not the case. We're going to give you, we're going to claim it right now in Jesus name, a clean biopsy for you. And please come back and let us know. Okay. Yeah, that's a little, yeah, that's a little premature. You shouldn't even put that thought in your mind. Now, they did tell me, you know, be careful. You could get, We, I had nodules that they were watching. And so over the years, you know, he would test a nodule and nothing would happen. But this particular time I went to a physical and the doctor said, I don't like the way that looks on your neck. Let's get that checked. And it came back. And I had, they called me up and said, can you come to the doctor's office within an hour? And I tell you, that was the quietest and longest car ride me and Bob ever took. So, all right, you guys, it is time to go check out Miko. Thank you for coming to my scope. Where did I do my card? I'm Shirley with Shirley's Crafty World. My mom and dad died of cancer. Oh, that's why he ran. See, there's absolutely no cancer in my family. I'm the only one. So, yeah. That's probably why he ran there. But you know what? Don't you pick it up and run with it either. You bind that in the name of Jesus and you're going to get a clean biopsy. So, Cheryl's Crafty World today's sponsor was LDCC, Little Deb's Creative Crew. And up next is Miko for sure. She's probably already on. So you guys go on over there and check her out. Thank you for coming to my scope today. You can also find me on uh, YouTube under Lady S Crafts. Yes, you got to put positive energy out there, girl. Yes, you do. Talk to my girl, um, Purple Paisley. She'll tell you about you got to put that positive energy out there. What you put out, put it in the universe. Okay, yes. Instagram, I'm Cheryl's Place. S H I R L S place P L A Lady S Crafts is YouTube. That's my YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, which I'm gonna be doing a challenge on soon because I've had my YouTube channel for five years now. I'm famous. <laughs> oh gosh, I gotta laugh when I hear people talk about Insta famous and stuff like that. No, I, the only person I want to be famous with is Jesus. Cheryl's place yes ma'am on Instagram okay and you can hit me up anytime if you need a shoulder to cry on or just someone to vent to okay support is very important when you're going through um, stuff like that thank you thank you 
All right, so I'm going to get head, get off of here because my mouth is dry and I need to go tinkle. Yes, definitely find me, Sharon. Is it Sharon? Let me know who you are when you get on there because sometimes people got different names. All right, thanks, you guys, for hanging out with me and thanks for helping me get the tags done. You have a blessed day now. Bye for now.